Hello and welcome to Sports Room. I'm Anirudh Madhavan and with me is veteran journalist Ayaz Mehman. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the huge mess in Indian wrestling and whether there's a possibility that Indian wrestlers will be competing under a neutral flag at the upcoming World Championships. <laughs> So, to set the context, it was reported yesterday that United World Wrestling, the international governing body for the sport, had suspended WFI for its failure to hold elections. They had wanted the elections to be held in a, I think, 45-day window and it's way past that. And this is all a fallout from the Bhishbhushan Singh controversy where women wrestlers accused him of sexual harassment and he stepped aside. Even though we don't know what kind of influence he still wields and the elections haven't been held and this has been going on for months. So, I ask, my question to you is, should this not have been resolved straight away? Oh, most certainly. Andrew, this is hugely embarrassing. I mean, you know, I don't think it's sunk in entirely in the minds of the sports-loving people of India and certainly not, in the, you know, where the Federation is concerned, maybe they're still bamboozled by it or they're disdainful or whatever else. But it is hugely embarrassing because, uh, you know, I, I mean, India is not a... Uh, and also ran country where wrestling is concerned. It's one of the major forces in re in wrestling. And for it to be kind of sidelined like this, and you know, it's, you can't blame the world body because enough and more notice has been given to the WFI over the last, well, you know, maybe four months since the controversy involving the Bhushan uh, erupted. And there were announcements that the elections will be held, he will, he, will, he will stand for elections, he will not stand for elections, and so on and so forth. But nothing seems to have come out of it. And at the end of the day, you can't, you know, mess around so much with the world body and certainly not in this year. What actually pains me is, look, this is the year when we are going to have not just a major championship coming up now, but also the Asian Games and you've got the Olympics coming up next year and so on and so forth. It's extremely disorienting and demoralizing for, for the wrestlers certainly, but also a huge source of embarrassment for all of us. Yeah, and to especially to point out that there, there is this possibility, not even a possibility, as it stands, the Indian wrestlers won't be competing under India's flag. It will be a neutral flag, like, like the Russians do at the Olympics. And even if one of our wrestlers does win gold and reaches the podium, our national anthem won't be playing. So, that's not really a good look, is it? That's terribly, it's terribly embarrassing. Embarrassing, yes, for us. But so, look at it from a point of view of the athlete, for the wrestler. wrestler. You win a medal, you're on the podium and, you know, your, your country's flag doesn't go up. The national anthem is not played. You're, you're standing there and receiving the, the, the medal, you know, under a neutral flag, so to speak. Uh, this happens generally. It, I mean, at the Olympics, we've seen athletes competing under the Olympic flag. But these are stateless athletes. Or, you know, if there are countries in conflict with each other and don't want to play against, you know, why against each other, these things can happen. Which is not the case with, with wrestling in India. So, it's, it's purely an internal matter within the establishment in India itself. And for this to happen here at this, at this juncture, with so much happening in Indian sport. And the other thing, Anirudh, is, you know, this comes against the backdrop. I mean, the Indians have made a soft landing on the moon, for God's sake, in the same week. You know, and where we are, there we are all extremely joyful as we should be. And at the same time, I'm not trying to draw a comparison between the moon landing and wrestling, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. being kind of not being able to participate because the federation has been virtually sidelined. But there is, this is a year in which you should be doing your utmost to be part of it because this is a big year for sport, as I told you. So I think this is all, and it, it boils down to what? The irony or the... The, the agony of it is that it's all boiling down to power play and ego tussle. That's the unfortunate part. Yeah. So, yeah, from that, have you seen something like this in the, in the past in Indian sport ever? I've never seen this in Indian sport. I've seen it happen at, you know, at the Olympics. It has happened, as we all know, uh, you know, but I haven't seen this happen. Uh, ever in Indian sport. There have been many times issues have cropped up about elections within the within federations or associations yeah. in India. Uh, there, we've been on the verge of being de-recognized by the world body. It can happen. But in the nick of time, some kind of 
you know, rapprochement would happen. This is a this is unprecedented. This is a first, but this is also, I think, a major warning signal, isn't it? I mean, I think our all our federations, not all of them, are in the same situation as the Wrestling Federation of India. But it's yeah. a warning to all federations that you can't take things so lightly. There is an international governing body who you can't mess around with so so flagrantly, and then say, oh, you know, but how can this happen to us? It will happen if you're not careful. Yeah. Especially because, as you were mentioning earlier, like Indian sport has been on the rise for a long time. And right now, while we are recording this, Neera Chopra has just made it to the final of the World Athletics Championship. So, it's been on a, like this trajectory has been going up and something like this can really derail it. And especially in terms of optics and how the world looks at it, like we just hope that we, this gets like sorted as soon as possible. And uh, you mentioned Chandrayaan, there was also Pragnananda, even though he didn't win. A stupendous performance for from a young boy, and he's taking India's name to a newer heights. And at that same time, this is also happening. So yeah, so there are examples of where we are doing exceptionally well. And you know, uh, for instance, yeah. in chess, you know, Vishwanath Anand, who we interviewed for the week, as you know, has, has said yeah. this is the this is the golden generation of chess players in India. Yeah, there's so yeah. many of them in the men's section, women's section, who are all virtually top notchers now. In, in the chess, so yeah. something right is happening there. You know, there is a yeah. there is the fluidity of not just of performance, but of opportunities of of you know constructive and beneficial administration. All that should be a lesson to the other federations. Uh, so I think that yeah. it's a big country, it's a diverse country. There are many federations. There are, as we all know, in all federations and associations, there are tugs and pulls. But these are not something which should come in the way of getting kind of bumped off the radar. Imagine if you're a 10, 12 year, you know, a young wrestler growing up, 10, 12 years old, then you're about 20, 21, you graduated to the senior ranks. All your life, you've been aspiring to compete at the highest level and then win, you know, for, for, to see the glory of the flag and the national anthem. That's what inspires, you know, the, the athletes. And then you find that you can't, this is not possible. Because there's been some default, the federation has messed things up. So this yeah. is something that I th I think it should it should hurt us all of us. Yeah. yeah. So I forgive us if you're sounding emotional, but this is an emotional issue. Like there's no way around it. Like you have to address these elephants in the room. And I, you know the, the what pains you is also the fact that all this need not have reached such a stage. There's been enough and yeah. enough time given. There was enough time to resolve resolve the matters. Yes, there has been an issue. We know, you know, wrestlers have been protesting at Jantal Mantar. There's a, it, internally, it's an internecine problem, and you know, is all that we've got is you know, stops. This election will happen tomorrow. This will this investigation will take place. That will happen. This will happen. That will happen. It's just taken so long, so many months, and finally, the bulletin comes down, and you're chopped off. Yeah. Hmm. So, anyway, we just hope that this gets resolved as soon as possible. And as we mentioned earlier, uh, our interview with uh, Vishwanathan Anand, which I asked it, uh, is, will be on the channel soon. And he talks about this golden generation. So, please uh, watch that also. And uh, till then, see you next episode. Thank you, Anirudh. Take care. Bye-bye.